In the last lecture, we set up our system so that we'll be able to send emails from our local host using PHP Mailer class and Madri API. In this lecture, we're going to incorporate the functionality into our sign up script so that when the user successfully create an account, we are going to send the activation email to their email address. So to do that, we need to go to our pass signup.php file. All right, the first thing we'll do here is to include once our sendme.php file. Next, we're going to go over to the section where we are checking if the record was inserted successfully into the database. So if you remember, this is a code, the line of code that actually checks for us. We are using the PDO row count function to check if one record was added into the database when this statement was executed. So when this statement was executed, if one record was added into the database, we know that it was successful and we display this old message. What we're going to do here is to, first of all, get the ID of the user that the account has just been created. So we can actually retrieve this ID using the PDO last inserted ID function. So we're going to create a variable here called user underscore ID. And this is going to be equal to the instance of our database class and we're going to assess the last inserted ID function. So basically this function gives us the ID that was inserted last into the database. And then we're just going to encode this. So we're going to say encoded ID, encode ID equals base64 encode. And here I'm just going to use a string so we can say the next thing we need to do is to prepare the body of the email. So to make things easier, I'm just going to copy this from my snippet file. So I've added a snippet file here. And I'm just going to grab the test for the body. Grab this, go back, and paste it here. So basically, this is all this is just simple HTML. Uh, if you go back to um, send email file, we have enabled this option is HTML and we've set the value equal to true. So that means that we can actually use HTML elements in the body of our email. On this line, we are opening the HTML tag creating the HTML body and then we have the add in here h2 elements and then we have a paragraph which says their username thank you for registering please click on the link below to confirm your email address and next we are just going to include a link that the user needs to click on the URL of this link needs to be your server URL if you are on localhost so you could actually just make this to be a uh, localhost if you are on a live server, you could make this as your uh, server name.com. Then this is going to be the file where the activation script will be uh, located. Basically, because I have uh, configured my local O server to uh, use domain routing, so I am using auth.dev, but I'm running this on my local computer. And then along with the URL, we are sending a variable, which is going to be the ID of the user. This is how we are going to know the user's information that we're going to update in the database. And we have a test here, which says confirm email. And uh, next we have a paragraph, which just uh, shows the copyright information. That's all we need to do for the body. Next thing we need to do is to now specify who are we sending the email to the recipient. So we're going to call the mail instance and we're going to say add address. We're going to specify the first one to be the email address. And uh, optionally, we can specify the name of the recipient. This is optional. So you could actually just put only the email address. Next, we are going to specify a subject, say mail, and then we specify a subject. So a subject should be equal to message from ICT Design Hub. And uh, lastly, we're going to add the body. Body be equal to the variable that we have created, may body. 
All right, we are all good to go. But uh, one more thing we need to do is to actually check if the email was delivered or there was an error message. So I have a snippet for this in my uh, snippet.php file. I'm just going to go there and grab it to save time. In place of the result here, we're going to put an if statement. Here we're going to check if the mail was not sent. If the value that we're getting from this function is false, uh, then we are going to display an error message. Otherwise, if the response that we get here is not equal to false, then we are going to display the success message. So this is exactly the same message that we have here, just that I've added, please check your email for confirmation link. So to complete this, we need to go back to our database and uh, make some changes after which we are going to test out this functionality. So right here in our database, I'm just going to actually truncate the old database to delete all the data. Okay, so browse. Now our database is empty and I am going to modify the structure. So we're going to add a few columns to our database. We need to add three more columns for some functionalities that we'll be adding after this. So the first column I'm adding is going to be activated and we'll set the type to enum. The value we'll set as zero and one. Default as defined should be equal to zero. So by default, when the user register, the account will not be activated. So we'll give a value of zero. So next I'm going to add another column. I'll call this avatar. I'm going to use this for a subsequent lecture. Avatar going to be voucher. Make this 255. And the last one, we're going to add a reset link for a subsequent lecture. And this is also going to be virtual. We we'll make this 255. So now we have the activated link. We have avatar. We have reset link. Now we are set to test this functionality. We'll go over to our web page and click on sign up. And we are going to register a new user. So I'm going to use my valid email address here. Registration successful, but you can see here that we have one error message. Base64 encode expected one parameter to given. We go back to uh, pass sign up .php script, which is line 55. We're going to check this out. All right, you see here that uh, I added a comma instead of just adding the ID at the end of the string. So my bad. All right, so this should take care of the issue. If we go over to our database and browse, we can see that the information has been added to the database successfully. If we go to our Madri API and click on Add Bond, it should tell us if the email was sent successfully or if the email failed. So uh, this is the one we just sent now, named Tedia at iCloud.com. And the status here shows that it has been delivered. So I'm going to log into my iCloud account. So right here in my inbox, we have the message and you see here it was just sent three minutes ago. Now we are not yet ready to click on this link. We are going to first of all write the activation script before we click on this link. So we're going to be doing that in the next lecture.